Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis, server 68. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Revelry Carnival. So, uh, basically, you get all these parade masks when you attack bosses, gather, that sort of stuff. And uh, there's rules here, you can look them up, that sort of stuff. But it's all about the prizes. And you go down here and these are the low level prizes that you get from the parade masks but they're pretty decent there's especially if you're starting out the game you're on an early server these rewards are pretty good like 10 tactic scrolls probably doesn't mean much to you early in the game but getting 15 million resources and then that's 60 million resources a lot of speeds that stuff really helps early in the game but the really important stuff here is over here now i have these whatever they're called, uh, they're called dragon badges or something like that, and I can use them over here to buy stuff. I've already bought some, I bought the most important stuff, and now the rest I'm kind of just saving and waiting. So what I bought, I bought tactic scrolls, I bought uh, I think the treasure treasure boxes, is that uh, these the civilization treasures, I redeemed those right there the fives with the badges i haven't done anything with the brooches yet in fact i haven't earned any brooches yet and that's what i'm here to talk to you about today so i do how to get brooches basically there's only two ways to get it and it's either pay money or Complete the tasks in the Gathering Troop and the King's Path. So I guess if you think of those things as two different things, there's three ways to get them. But in my opinion, they're kind of the same event. They're a little different, but you just complete the event. I'll go into the event right now and show you just after I join these rallies. Doing Vikings here. And so in here, you see King's Path. And I purposely didn't click some of the stuff to redeem. But if you go down and you see all the stuff you're gathering you can get these party invitation. An invitation of upper class wine party. Use it in carnival celebration to gain 50 celebration points. But really you just want it for the brooches. And over here, I got some, I'll just redeem. I might actually complete King's Path for the first time in probably about two years. So on top of that, I'll get Mehmed. But, uh, the reason I'm going to complete it, I think, is I'm going to need some of those because the rewards in this event are kind of good. Now, let's look at them. So first I'll use these three. And you can see I got three emerald brooches. So that's really the only way to get them other than spend money. And I think they're only in the 99 pack. So if we go over here, what should you be buying with your brooches? There's a lot of stuff for sale here. But right here, you can basically skip all this stuff. This is easy stuff you get just from being in rallies. So I wouldn't even consider this stuff. Now, tactic scrolls, they're pretty awesome. But you can get them in rallies. So unless I had a lot. So right there, I'd only get 30 with my three brooches. I'd only get 30 tactic scrolls. That's not worth it. All this other stuff, really not worth it yet. Kind of get this stuff in rallies. I guess dragon stones or dragon sources. I guess you kind of can't get those any other way. Civilization treasures are always great to have. And then you can see some people, this uh, elegant noble decoration. So if you look around the map, on my map, I'm going to show you some of them, what it actually looks like. So actually, the uh, 5.5 billion keep that we attacked ha had that. And uh, I know he always used to joke that, like, yeah, back in the day, they'd give us a keep that didn't even have buffs. And someone else here, right here, obviously just acquired this keep. It looks cool. It's a really nice keep. But when I think about it, it's really just a version of this, a big crappy keep with no buffs. No reason to have it on. Everyone knows you just didn't get the real castle that has buffs. You didn't finish the King's Path. You didn't make all-stars. Uh not King's Path, the uh, cake, King's Cake, and you didn't make All-Stars. Uh, to me, honestly, the best thing you can get here is the Barbarian King. I'm going to... Oh, 35. Ooh, 
that's going to be tough to get because uh, I believe, does it say where you can get them? I, there was somewhere that I saw that you can, that it shows you exactly, you click on it right here. So when you have zero, you can click. So right there, it says there's 30 free ones in the game, right? If you complete gathering p event and King's Path, you can get 30. Now, this guy, 35, is he worth it to get five more plus all the other stuff you get? In my opinion, he's one of the best subordinate city generals. I have one of him. I'd love to get more of him. So he reduces range troop attack by 30% and enemy troop defense by 10%. And then you could put sabotage on and reduce enemy troops another 8 or 10%, depending if you want to get it to the max. So let's uh, take a look at other sub generals because I do have a few and I wanted to compare him to the other ones that I think are really elite. So right here, Baldwin. Baldwin reduces enemy range attack by 30 and enemy siege attack by 20, but that siege attack kind of doesn't matter because you debuff the max siege attack so easily. And then there's Andrew Jackson, 20% and 20% horse HP. So against uh, ranged troops, it's really tough to beat the barbarian, the Nordic barbarian king. There is Darius, who's a specialty general. Uh, in, and when I say specialty, I mean that he is not available to any of the ordinary players and was only available at one time. If he was in this event, I'd probably try and get him uh, for sure right away. So try and, there's Darius. So Darius reduces enemy ground by 35. Enemy ground and mounted troop by 20 HP. So yeah, Darius is a special general who really uh, goes against that ground attack. So my advice is save your brooches to the end. Try and see if you can get the Barbarian King, how close you can get to him. And it might be worth it to spend a little bit and actually get him. Uh, having said that, if you don't, if you can't afford him uh, in terms of the prizes, uh, I guess you could kind of look for some other stuff. Uh, look at tactic scrolls, look at sor dragon sources, uh, look at stuff that you can't really get in the uh, in rallies. So avoid resources, avoid speed ups, unless you're just topping up like, hey, I got four left, I can't buy anything, then get resources. But to me, this event, the best thing in here is this guy right here. So that should be your goal. So I might sacrifice a few rallies for a few hours and actually uh, gather a bit to complete the King's Path so that I can acquire him. So this is Genghis, server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.